So welcome into your last day. However, I don't want this to be our last day with each other. Of course not. We still have room to grow our mind, our body, and our life together. So if you'd like to continue your journey into our beautiful self-love cycle, then go ahead and click the link below to be able to join more workouts, more meal plans, more recipes, and more fun. All right, I'd love to continue to keep our journey with each other. And do not forget to do this day. This is the day that we recover, that we heal, we allow blood, we allow everything to just come together and make our best bodies in our recovery, okay? So here is our yoga and stretch session. We're gonna first start off by finding ourselves in presence. So I'm gonna walk through a few words with you. And as I say these words, I want you to find out how it can also connect you and unite you into this present moment so that way we can be in our best. All right, so let's go ahead and align ourselves now as we go into our breathing. Feeling connected. Feeling whole. Embracing all those things around us. Surrounding ourselves with love. Stepping into thriving. Allowing basic trust. And now into your easy world. Now that you're centered, let's go ahead and start with our yoga session. Find yourself into a tabletop onto your mat. Starting off into cat-cow as you roll your spine up, pressing the belly button up towards your spine, and then reversing the pose where the crown of your head and your tailbone come up. Breathing through each one of these movements. Next, go ahead and extend out your left leg. Opening up through the side body so that you are now onto your right arm. Left leg is back. Extending your left arm up as you look up and breathe. Three deep breaths. Reversing the pose. so. Lifting it up as you place the left leg onto the back leg and reach up and over. Looking up towards the sky, allowing shoulders to drop down. Heart is open. Breathing. Come back into your pose. Deep breath. As you find yourself back into tabletop. Go ahead and go to the other side now as you open up through your right leg, right arm, and reach up. Three deep breaths. Beautiful. And reverse. Bringing it down and starting again at tabletop. Tabletop, you're going to extend your right arm and your left leg into your bird dog, reaching your head, the crown of your head forward, and reaching the tips of your toes as far back as you can. Reaching all the way around so that you're grabbing the top part of your foot, pressing the foot into your hand, and opening up through the front body and into your hips. Big deep breath. and back down. Opening up with the left arm, right leg comes back. Spine is straight, reaching it all the way around. Pressing the foot into the hand, 
and giving a nice good arch. Beautiful job. Go ahead and relax it back into child pose as you open your knees the distance of your mat, sit your hip bones back as you relax your chest forward onto the mat. Go ahead and place your hands together, your palms together, and just bring your hands back towards the back of your head. We're going to do the same pose into puppy pose, so go ahead and bring your knees back together right underneath the hips. Keeping the hips up nice and high as the arms come more forward, going into puppy pose where your hips stay right up over, or the hips right up over the knees. Deep breaths, each exhale, get a little deeper with the chest towards the mat. Each exhale, get a little deeper with the chest to the mat. And when you're ready, come back into tabletop. From here, go ahead and curl your toes under as you press your palms into the mat and lift up into downward facing dog. From here, your goal is to try to press your heels to the ground. Meanwhile, try to be a look of an ups upside down V. So you want to really bring your head towards your legs, making a beautiful, nice V. You can pedal the feet back and forth. Centering your left foot in the middle of the mat as your right leg comes nice and high. The hips are square to the mat. As you bring the knee up towards the chest and back up into downward, one, one leg dog. Back up and lying it down in front into a seven where it is called your pigeon. Deep breath. Rocking the hips side to side. Pressing your hands into the mat and getting a nice, beautiful lower back stretch. Breathing. And when you're ready, go ahead and bring your hands to the front and place your hand or your forehead right into your hands. Maybe you find that your modification is just onto your elbows. Or maybe that you find your modification here. Realizing that wherever you're at in your journey is not wrong. You are on the level that you need to be and embrace your journey. Walking your hips side to side, you'll start to feel the stretch get a little bit deeper. And take three deep breaths. Beautiful job. When you're ready, go ahead and press your hands into the mat, curl your toe under, and find yourself back into downward facing dog. Making the right leg the center, the left leg goes nice and high, hips are squared to the back. Bringing the knee all the way up to the chest, floating it up, and back into three leg dog. Breathing. This time finding yourself into pigeon, placing that foot like a seven on the front of your mat and extending the back leg out, walking the hands up towards your hips, a nice beautiful back bend. And when you're ready, finding your modification for lying down. Three deep breaths. And 
And when you're ready, go ahead and find yourself into a seated position onto your mat. Going ahead and taking the top leg, the right leg, and bringing it on top of the left. As your left leg is going to bend, and um, so there's a, different, a couple different positions here. Perhaps that you find your level is where your knees are staggered, or if you're flexible enough, you can try to stack both of those knees, otherwise known as cow face. Taking a big deep breath, and extending it forward, deepening the stretch and holding for three deep breaths. Great job. Extending the bottom leg, taking the top leg and now switching them so the left leg goes on top, right leg goes back, finding your level, something that's uncomfortable but no sharp pain, big deep breath, and slay forward. Last one we're going to go into is a little bit of a uh, into a back bend. A couple different modifications here. Perhaps that the the strengthening for your back is going to be a reverse tabletop. And what you're going to do is you're going to try to bring your hips as high as you can, and that will help strengthen your lower back. So perhaps you're holding here for about three deep breaths, or maybe you'd like to challenge yourself and try a few others. Dropping the left knee, straightening out the right leg, dropping the left arm behind you, and reaching the right arm up and over. And reversing that to the other side. Left leg straightens. Right knee is bent, right arm comes behind, and lift up and over. Or perhaps if you're advanced, take it into the wheel. This is where you're gonna be lying all the way flat onto your back. Hands will come right by your ears, lifting up into your back. So great work on strengthening and getting more flexible, repairing. If you want to go ahead and finish off this last one while I'm talking to you, go ahead and open up into the splits. So opening up into a wide split, what I'm going to have you do is just inch yourself as far forward as you are comfortable with it. Of course, no sharp pains. Something that's slightly uncomfortable is where you're going to find growth. So great work today, you guys. Um, as you're staying in this position, Breathe as I talk to you about. Again, if you would like this to not be our last day with each other, but you'd like to see continuing more mind transformations, body transformations, and also into your diet, go ahead and click the link below to be able to join my fun workouts as well. You'll get a community that's gonna support you and all of the knowledge that will help you get to the best version of yourself. So keep that self-love cycle going and I'll see you on the next day.